one would look at these graphs and go, wow, that's a good tune, that green run, and the blue one was standard, and the red and the yellow were somewhere in between. And their AFRs look all pretty good, but really, at the end of the day, if we go up to the top, they're all stock standard. Here's an LC200, but it's just nothing different from any other electronically controlled diesel nowadays, where inlet temperature and all sorts of other things gets looked at, and there's maps inside the computer that actually tell it to produce more power or less power. So we've actually started off run number one is a green one, run number two, run number three, run number four. So we've started really good with lots of power with the first cold run. And as soon as we've done three other runs, this is all over a minute or two. So we've hardly loaded or heated the vehicle up. It's Berrima, it's cold, it's winter here. So we've got no real heat so kicking in. We've just got inlet air temperatures and everything else coming into play. And people would go, that's rubbish, but yep, there's 20 kilowatts just sitting in there we could call that tuning and that's the sad thing what some shops are doing doing runs like this and then saying they've just tuned your vehicle up you go away smiling but still thinking has it really been done so anybody that says these really repeatable runs it's always up to the dyno operator to pick and choose runs that are relative so obviously in this instance certainly not going to be picking the high run because that's not showing anything maybe the mid runs are okay probably the last run well it dropped even more we might say there's heat soak in there so again, it's a matter of picking through the runs and gathering the information and remembering when you're a tuner to be checking air temperatures and the dyno room temps and all those things. If you're up in North Queensland, plays different factors to what you might be down in Tasmania. And here at Berrima where it's 700 metres and it's cold, same deal. So there's four standard runs all over the shop. Nothing to do with the vehicle being wrong. This is just the days of in and out what we see with electronic diesels. And it's a matter of picking through that minefield of information and data to come up with runs so that you know you're actually tuning safely. So the next time you're thinking of buying that new LC300 with its two or 300 kilowatts, think again, when will it be producing that power and for how long? Because it certainly won't be what you're thinking. I'm Andrew from Berrima Diesel. You can see more of these videos. Keep watching our Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, or look us up at berrimadiesel.com where you can find out more interesting information about your diesel.